I'm Caitlin Dominguez. I'm a dentist. I work at um, two offices right now, one of which is my father-in-law's office. His name is Michael J. Santo. His office has been open for almost 30 years in that location. His dentistry combines the medicine with the creative side of a person, so I, I like working with my hands a lot. Um, so that's what I kind of came to find out about dentistry is that it allowed me to express my creative side in my work while still doing the science and the medicine that I really enjoy. Let's say you break a tooth or even just doing a filling, I'm not just going to plop some blob of material into your tooth and call it a day. I have to shape it up to match what's already there. So I have to literally carve out or drill out the anatomy of the tooth to make it match what's there. Or if somebody chips their front tooth in half, I have to rebuild that tooth to match the tooth next to it. Same shade, same size, the way it reflects the light, I have to mimic that so that it doesn't just look like a chiclet in your mouth that's stuck there. <laughs> Some people will go to dentists for a complete smile makeover and you work with their face, the shape of their face, how old they are, their coloring to make their smile look natural rather than just very white square teeth. So it's, it's more artistic than you would think. For me, it came more naturally, so that was a nice surprise. It's safe to say that you're natural when it comes to dentistry. <laughs> I guess so. If I put a blob in your tooth, you wouldn't be able to chew your food properly. I love how she said chiclet. <laughs> <laughs> I personally really like doing bonding, so if somebody comes in with a chipped tooth or they just don't like the color of their tooth, I can fix it for them just with my hands and kind of finding the best way to blend it in with their natural tooth structure that's there on that tooth and then the teeth next door. I really like being able to do that for somebody and then giving them the mirror after I'm done and saying, you know, what do you think, let me know. And they say, I can't even tell anything's there. Like that's the best thing because I'm putting something on their tooth to fix it that's essentially an artificial material but they don't even know that anything else is there. Really, Red Bank is, it's very saturated with dentists. Um, so for them to choose to go to his office, which is in the antique district, it is a little bit more off, let's say, the beaten path of where the rest of the dental offices are. Um, they continue to go there, and they've been going to the same building, same office for almost 30 years. Um, I'll have people who are my age who will tell me that they've been going to Dr. Santos since they were three years old, things like that. They've never seen any other dentist. So to be able to be a part of that, I think it's really really nice. Patient education, it makes so much of a difference. You, we take for granted that we've been taught to um, not put our children to bed with a bottle of milk, that we've been taught to brush our teeth twice a day and floss and the importance of those things. And there's people who seriously don't know those things because they haven't been taught. And changing their life and changing their children's lives and changing their children's lives after that is just as simple as having a conversation with them. So um, I think that's the most interesting thing that I've seen is that you can never take for granted that other people know and understand the same things that you do and that that's just status quo. You always have to take that time to really get to know that patient and what they know and kind of help them out. To brush and floss at night is almost the most important time. A lot of people think they should just brush in the morning, get ready for their day, and go. Um, honestly, if I were to choose between the two, which I wouldn't recommend, I'd say you need to make sure that you're brushing at night. Whatever bacteria you have in your mouth as a parent is getting passed down to your child. Between testing out food for them and sharing a spoon with them, sharing a drink with them, all of that is getting passed down to your child. So your oral health is directly correlated to what bacteria you have in your mouth. If you have a very high decay rate or you have gum disease, you're now passing that along to your child. So to maintain your mouth in the best shape that you possibly can is going to benefit your child. How does someone go about getting in contact with you or the office that you work in? I would recommend that they give us a call to set up an appointment. Um, phone number is 732-530-1003. Um, they can speak with Annie, who works at our front desk. She's our office manager as well. Very, very nice. She's been there for many years as well, and patients love her. Um, give her a call, and we'll set up an appointment. We'd be happy to meet you.